How's it going everybody? Um, today I'm back with something I don't normally do. Um, I did it once before, a tutorial, but I didn't really commentate on it. Um, I recently got asked uh, um, to make a tutorial on how to do a cloth, uh, which I did in my uh, speed art videos. So, um, I'll show you how to do the cloth like this. Um, can like move it. It's not perfect. It's not. Uh, you can do it with like the cloth simulator, but I don't do it because it's hard to control that. Make it with like a like um, just control and like, make movements with it. Um. So I'll show you how to do these. Um, like I think when you move it, yeah, it kind of moves. So what you first need is a body mesh, just like um, the body without any bones or um, yeah, just without any bones or skin just only the texture and like when you and that the textures are all right not any glitches so what you first need to do is like um i don't really do like um cloth uh when you have the skin like this because it's just a shirt and there's not really m much you can do but um, so you want kind of want a jacket. So I'll, I'll look for a skin that has a jacket. Nope, not this one. Or probably here some. I've got to have one skin that has this. Maybe in here. Alright, this one. This is a skin of a render I did a while ago. Um, with like, uh, it's kind of like an escape from prison. But first, what you do with this, um, you delete this part, the part that isn't the jacket, and you delete the button part. Like this, you just delete it, and then, like, um, right click and go to knife and change it to plane. Um, and then, when you once you have plane, you go to uh, Y Z uh, Y Z. So, and then change the offset to 0.5. And you just like cut it here in the middle and then you change the offset to negative 0.5 like go into this line and cut it right there and then go into loop selection where and you you get there by uh, doing U and then L and you can like loop select this loop select that Looks like this and this. Then you hit delete. So now you have. <coughs> oh no, wait. I goofed up. You only do it with the front because the front has to be open. So you hit delete because you have to have two different. Like, this is a jacket, you can see. And. It has to be open, separated from each other, because else it, it will move weird. 
So now you like uh, right click and hit optimize so all the points that once were there are gone and ju just makes it less laggy. So what you now want to do is like you can extru extrude any, uh, everything you want. Um, I'm just gonna extrude one part, one side of it. So hit D, changes to 91, and the offset maybe to one, like that. Then maybe deselect this part and hit uh, D again, and another um, extrude to one. So then you've got to wait it, but first you get um, a joint, and you move it like um, you go into front view, like um, change the display to ground shading lines, and move it to the middle of. The one side, and I drag it around here, because you don't want the top to move. You only want the uh, the bottom to move. You should start here and then just go down. Just um, hold Control and drag it down, and it will make a copy like that, and then. You select these and group them into the joint. Deselect joint one and drag the rest into joint one and just go on like that. Just group everything in each other. So now you've got that. Um, I do the same for um, you copy it to the other side in the middle. So now you've got two sides. Um, and you bind, you select everything and you bind it. You, if I have a shortcut right here, but if you want to bind it, you go into character commands bind. And then you've binded it. And it's all it's weighted right now, good, but not not good. Let's look at it. So it's weird. So you click on torso and change the strength to 100 visible only uh, take that off mode to abs and hardness to 100 like a radius uh, it doesn't matter just makes the, the radius what you want to weight just makes it bigger um, first you, you just um, hold control and drag this all the way over so the weighting is gone on the whole uh, jacket then you change the radius to a bit less like this and then you start weighting so this joint is um, from the left side as you can see you go into point mode so it will be easier to see um, and you like weight this part just the uh, the line where this joint is on uh, but not the other side because you have to weight it separately for so you do that for every single joint like that and you can see where the joint is because it's highlighted with a color Just do it like that. And then with this last joint, like the second last joint, you uh, wait this part and the bottom part. So now you, uh, when you rotate or move these joints, it will move a part of uh, the right side of the jacket. So now you do the same thing for the other side 
done. Um, you see that every part here is weighted. So, uh, but when you go into the side view and go to display and change to ground ceiling lines, you can see that the back is also weighted. And you don't really want that. Because um, it will move the back too. So what you do is get to radius it, change it up a bit, uh, hold control again, and de-weight um, it to like this. This in front of the middle, this de-weighted everything. So now when you wait, uh, when you rotate one part, you can see that you just rotate one uh, every joint a bit, like a uh, like better to 10, uh, 10 degrees when, when I rotate everything. You don't rotate the last part because it doesn't do anything because it, it, uh, it isn't weighted. So now you see that um, it's weighted right there. What I do mo normally is just um, first um, extrude the whole part because then you have like uh, this edge here, but which I don't uh, I don't have now. Um, like, um, to make it moving, you just like, um, change the rotating step to like 5 and select the joint and move it 5 to the front and 5 to the left and do that for every oh. So now that's done, one side. You do the same for the other side, but I'll, I'll just show it with this side. Um, just uh, it's the same for the other side. Just you move it, um, rotate it to the front, and then to the right. It's just that you move, uh, rotate it to the right. It's just one difference. So then you select the joint one. Because it's the first joint you don't rotate, you select the joint one and the last joint, uh, the joint eight. Um, and then you, uh, I have the shortcut right here, but you go into character uh, commands, create IK chain. So now um, you get this goal. You can rotate with this. But that's not the dynamic. You go into the IK tag and delete this goal. The goal you you, you should clear it, and the end goal is is all right. You keep it like that. You go into um, dynamics and enable this, and you just fiddle around with the settings a bit. Um, I changed the drag to um, just to like uh, 100 because it makes it um, re it makes it more smooth. I I find um, change the positional. You can change to yeah. Keep it to 100. Rotation hold like 50. And strength, like, you know, it's just what you like. Guess 60 and and the rotation hold also to 60. So now it doesn't do anything when you uh, when you play it, but um. When you when you uh, change the rotation all down, like 
moves a bit and then when you when you move this this first joint like waves a bit so I guess don't turn the rotation hold up too bit up too much I guess 23 and then you create um, a goal just a click add goal when you get this goal you just um, move it to a certain position that looks straight like that and then if you want to make it easier for you um, you just make uh, group this just right click it and group objects and change the dot um, to sphere that's what I do normally and that change to 60 and this to um, X, Y, X, Y, and yeah, um, also drag this up a bit, and then group this again, so now when you move it, uh, it doesn't look really, really good, but that's how I used it, I just moves it so that, that it look good and of course it doesn't look good right now because um, I don't have it um, smoothed out with this subdivision which you can do right now and you can do the same with the hair um, I made the hair like this also with two um, and two separate uh, joint joints and IK it IK it and stuff so you just gotta I like uh, now just cut it I normally don't use this cut to wait I use loop yeah just with loop and I'm not do gonna do it precise right now just do this this and there Then you change the plane to x, y, you got this, and you like, it's there, do that, and then x, z, Alright, so that's how you make the the claws right there. If I